going on guys? Tom Yergin from Growflat Financial Services. Just wanted to talk to you guys today about three things to consider when setting up payroll taxes in a new state. On our team, I tend to do a lot of the registrations for uh, companies when they add new employees in different states. It can be a hassle and it's good to kind of get ahead of it and sort of figure out what you're going to be doing before you actually do it because you never know you could have a couple roadblocks especially with certain states uh, you have to go through a finite process where you may have to register for one specific account number before you can get another account number so in that case if you don't have specific information in whatever payroll company account that you use whether it's gusto or paychecks it could block your payroll um, within the next two weeks uh, so you want to make sure that your employees are happy they're getting paid so you want to plan ahead and make sure you get all the information that you need maybe sort of figure out where you're going to be hiring employees and then uh, that way you can kind of look up and see what you need from that specific state um, before that employee actually starts another thing to consider uh, when hiring new employees is whether or not you're actually doing business in that state as well that could have you know an effect on what you need to register for payroll taxes but could also affect your income tax return if you are doing business in the same state that you're hiring an employee, chances are that you're going to have to now file an income tax return in that state as well. Definitely something you want to pay attention to no matter how you're set up. Partnerships, 1120S companies you might want to think about that even more because that is a flow through company and there's potential that on your personal return, you're going to have to file in a couple more states as well. So um, consider that when um, hiring employees and, and where you uh, decide you're going to hire them. Another thing more like planning ahead is the first quarterly report due for the state once you hire that employee um, you want to keep an eye out on that because you can start and run payroll for employees before you get all of your tax information but you're going to want to make sure that you have those tax account numbers and all that tax information before the date where say a 941 is filed or a state payroll quarterly report is filed because they're going to have to use those account numbers and use your registrations in order to complete uh, those returns and get them done on time. If you don't get them done on time and they're overdue, chances are the payroll provider may not handle that for you anymore or it could cause a hassle. Um, you'll have to go back and sort of file those returns in arrears. So if you think ahead and you can kind of avoid certain headaches like that when it comes to filing payroll taxes and registering payroll in certain states. If you have any more questions about payroll taxes or payroll tax registrations, feel free to reach out. Be more than happy to talk about it. That was great. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave us some feedback. Also, check out our website, growthlabfinancial.com. Again, subscribe so you can be notified for the next one.